History was made in a Boeing state on 29th May 2015 as the day that heralded the coming on board of a leader who made a visionary political history as the third civilian deputy governor and third civilian governor of a Boeing state. Upon inauguration, Governor David Omahi developed a five-fold covenant performance plan of his social contract with the people of the state. Bay has flagship projects that are setting the state on the path of economic prosperity. This include concrete-based network of road that has made the state a global village. The over 14 twin flyovers connecting the major junctions and borders of the state. The state shopping mall described as the microcosm of Dubai Mall. The new David Mweze Omahi Federal University of Health Sciences established to provide treatment of liver problems, cancer, heart diseases, heart transplant and production of dialyzers and many more achievements in education, human capital development, agriculture and other sectors of governance. Today marks another historic moment in the lives of Ebony people as their dream of having one of the best international airports in Nigeria is being actualized. The project was initiated and started by the administration of Governor Omahi. Initially, many did not believe that it was possible for it to be actualized given the limited resources of the state and many other projects being handled by the Omahi administration. Through the ingenuity of the governor who is a passionate engineer, the design and construction works were done by indigenous engineers. A section of the International Airport, the Presidential Lounge, named after President Muhammadu Buhari, GCFR, was commissioned last April by the President himself. At that time, most of the sections had not been completed. Today, the State International Airport is being counted as one of the leading airports in terms of beauty, formidable state-of-the-art facilities, quality and size of the tarmac and runway. The investment, prospects and vistas of opportunities the airport business will bring in Ebony State is immense. With a smooth network of road leading to the five neighboring states, including Abia, Benue, Cross River, Enugu and Imo, Ebony International Airport is said to provide alternative air travel choice that can compete with the exploits of continental airports. Ebony is the only place in Southeast that does not heed to the sit-at-home orders of the non-state actors. And this is a point of attraction for investors and travelers all over the world. The airport, named after President Muhammad Buhari today, had its inaugural flight operations and flight test was carried out by Airpeace coming from Abuja and Lagos airports. From Abakaliki, capital city, to the airport is just a distance. The route to the airport is greeted with the aesthetics of President Mohammed Buhari Light Tunnel, the shopping mall, State Ecumenical Center, Bishop Nachiokoro flyover, crossing a four-lane highway leading to Engineer Fidelis Kingsweze twin flyover that terminates at the airport. Sitting on a 3.5 kilometers land, the Ebony International Airport has a perimeter fence done with concrete covering the entire area of the airport. The fire station, the presidential lounge, the control tower that has 10 floors among others are facilities with special architecture that stand the airport out as one of the best in Nigeria. So far, the airport has given employment to over 272 people in different departments. As the people of Ebony State welcome the Federal Ministry of Aviation and all regulatory agencies who came to perform the flight test and inauguration of flight operations. They conveyed their best wishes to the Governor of Ebony State, His Excellency, Engineer David Mweze Umahi, for being the vision bearer and great leader who has given Ebony State a new lift.